अब आपके पास जो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक है दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ टैक्सेस अब आपके पास टाइप्स ऑफ टैक्सेस दो तरह के हैं यू हैव डायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड देन यू हैव इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स ठीक है ना यू हैव डायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड यू हैव इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टडी व्हाट आर डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस वो होते हैं बेटा कि जिस पे टैक्स लगेगा वही पे करेगा अगर निव्यान को मैं टैक्स कर रहा हूं तो निव्यान ने वो टैक्स देना है निव्यान अपने टैक्स का जो बर्डन है वो किसी और पर ट्रांसफर नहीं कर सकता ठीक है ना इसमें चार तरह के टैक्सेस आते हैं एक इनकम टैक्स एक कॉपोरेट टैक्स प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स और वेल्थ टैक्स ठीक है ना दैट इज इट इज इनकम टैक्स में इट इज इम्पोज ऑन पीपल्स ग्रॉस या नॉमिनल इनकम कॉपरेट टैक्सेज आर दोट आर इम्पोज ऑन फर्म प्रॉफिट प्रॉपर्टी टैक्सेज दो इम्पोज ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी वेल्थ टैक्सेज दो इम्पोज ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ द पर्सन वेल्थ एट दी एंड ऑफ द ईयर ठीक है ना so so corporate taxes so cop if corporate taxes rises it will it will act as a disincentive for firms to make more profits right remember that and if income taxes rises what happens is that your disposable income falls you know that it affects your purchasing power theek hai na it affects the demand in the aggregate demand in the economy because of a rise in income taxes Results into falling consumer expenditures. Why? Because your disposable income will fall, and that will reduce the spending that is done in the economy, and that will reduce the aggregate demand, and that will re- reduce the GDP in the country as well. So, income taxes may have a downward effect on aggregate demand. It may have a downward effect on economic growth. Why may it have a downward effect on economic growth? Because an increase in income taxes will reduce consumer spending, and that will reduce the amount of sp- expenditure that is done in the economy. and that reduces your aggregate demand that reduces your consume that reduces your gdp theek hai to ye char income taxes hain income tax so ye char tarah ke taxes hain jis pe lagega wohi dega remember that direct taxes ki sabse achhi baat yahi hai ki they are based on the ability to pay that is jiski jitni salahiyat hai uske hisab se direct tax pay hote hain iska matlab hai ki agar firms ke aur logon ke revenues zyada hain income zyada hai to us pe zyada tax lagega they should ideally pay more tax because they are earning more they should pay more that is they bear the greater burden of the tax theek hai na that is why we say that direct taxes are progressive in nature which results into an equitable distribution of income what do you mean by progressive in nature what does progressive in nature means what does it mean that you when you say that direct taxes are progressive in nature it basically means that higher incomes greater the tax burden the people with higher incomes have a more tax burden than people with lower incomes the upper income groups end up paying a higher proportion of their incomes in taxes the upper income groups end up paying a higher proportion of their income in taxes and this leads to a positive welfare effect on society promoting a more desirable outcome so remember that linked progressive taxes with distribution of income linked progressive taxes with equal distribution of income in society clear but please copy this down because this is important so direct taxes are progressive so agar main aapse ye puchu ki agar government chahti hai equal distribution of income lana agar government chahti hai ki society ke living standards badhe agar government chahti hai wealth poverty gire so one way in what the government can do is to impose direct taxes because they are progressive in nature advantages of direct taxes are it leads to equal distribution of income theek hai na it leads to equity there is more certainty in paying direct taxes why certainty because the government is certain they will receive this money why because they are imposing imposed on people's incomes so they are certain about it people have to pay direct tax if you are earning an income that falls within the tax brackets right so you have to pay the tax so the payers also know how much is due from them and when the tax authorities can hence predict an amount expected they can predict an expected tax revenue so the tax authorities can actually predict because they know that by this is the amount of incomes that people have earned and this is the amount of tax that we will impose on them so they have to pay if you don't pay indirect tax you are you have to file a, you have to pay a penalty then it's more economical it's more productive theek hai ye do din aur hai isko le lo these are very simple self explanatory nothing for me to explain number 3 people act as responsible citizens why because civic sense is developed in citizens as they consciously pay their income taxes because mujhe yaad hai ki jab maine apne taxes file kiye 
तो मेरे अंदर एक चीक चीक फीलिंग पैदा हुई कि यार चलो मैं मेरी मेरी इनकम इस सर्टेन लेवल की है कि मैं टैक्स ब्रैकेट्स में आ रहा हूँ मेरे अंदर एक सेंस डेवलप हुआ कि भाई मैं टैक्स पे करूँ क्यों नहीं मैं टैक्सेस पे कर रहा हूँ अगर मैं टैक्सेस दे रहा हूँ गवर्नमेंट को तो ये टैक्स का पैसा कहा जा रहा है सो देन द गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो अकाउंटेबल टू द पब्लिक ठीक है Let's move on to disadvantage of direct taxes. So the disadvantage of direct taxes are that first of all, people will try to evade the tax. ठीक है ना? How will they try to evade the tax? There will be tax evasion. Why will there be tax evasion? There will be tax evasion because um, people and firms, since they know that they are liable to pay, they will try to evade them by maybe submitting false returns, right? By hiding their incomes. By hiding their wealth, the people will hide their wealth and incomes in order to evade the tax. ठीक है ना? Um, number two, the some of the direct taxes might also act as disincentive. Why? Such as corporate taxes act as disincentive for firms to expand themselves and increase more profits. If firms will expand, they will employ more people. If they employ more people, GDP and employment will rise. But higher taxes might be disincentive for firms because they will be like, you know what? Let's forget earning more because the more we earn, the more tax we have to pay. So there's no point. So um, it also acts as a disincentive. ठीक है. Let's start with indirect taxes. What are indirect taxes? Yes. So indirect taxes are basically. They are they are they are taxes on expenditure. That is, they are taxes that are imposed on spending, right? So when you spend, you pay that tax. However, remember that indirect taxes are basically imposed on firms initially, and since they are imposed on firms, ठीक है ना? Since they are imposed on firms, firms may transfer the tax burden to consumers. तो टैक्स बर्डन जो है वो जैसे कि ये दिखा रहे हैं ये वाला डायग्राम दिखा रहा है कि अगर प्रोडक्ट की नेचर इन इलास्टिक है जैसे डिमांड इन इलास्टिक है यहाँ पे तो डिमांड की स्लोप स्टीप है तो ऑरेंज एरिया शो कर रहा है टैक्स बर्डन ज्यादा कंज्यूमर पे नहीं जाते पब्लिक ट्रांसफर कर देती है इस पे कंज्यूमर पे दूसरा एक और बात यह है कि मेरी जो है वो यहाँ पे एक उसकी वीडियो भी है इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस पे वो जरूर देख लेना ये है ये वाली है एक तो ये है दूसरी वाली तीसरी वाली और एक ये ये चौथी पहली लाइन में जो दो तीन वीडियोस है ना तीन वीडियोस वन टू थ्री फोर ये वीडियो जरूर देख लेना इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस सो बेसिकली इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस जो हैं दे आर बेसिकली चार्ज ऑन प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ गुड एंड सर्विसेस हाउ एवर द कंज्यूमर पेज दम इनडायरेक्टली एग्जाम्पल्स क्या है इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस की एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस आर एग्जाम्पल्स जस्ट सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस आर सेल्स टैक्स जी एस टी एंड वैल्यू एडेड टैक्स वी ए टी एक्साइज ड्यूटीज दीज आर ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस ठीक है ना दीज आर ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स एक्साइज ड्यूटीज भी लिखने दो मुझे एक्साइज कहते हैं इनको एक्सरसाइज नहीं कहते एक्साइज ड्यूटीज लिखते हैं स्टूडेंट्स लिख देते हैं एक्साइज ड्यूटीज ज्यादा लगाई जाती हैं सिगरेट्स वगैरह पे इंपोर्ट्स ऑफ सिगरेट्स वगैरह पे ताकि डीमेरिट गुड्स की कंजम्पन कम की जा सके एक और कुछ कंट्रीज में अल्कोहल टैक्स भी लगाया जाता है यूके वगैरह के अंदर लगाया जाता है एल्कोहल टैक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो एन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स टू रिड्यूस द कंजम्पन ऑफ डीमेरिट गुड्स ठीक है um import of demerit goods bhi lagaya jata hai import levies and tariffs are all are all examples of indirect taxes so again the the effect of indirect taxes that they reduce the supply they shift the supply curve to the left theek hai na and why are they called indirect because the firm transfers the burden on the consumer the tax burden on the consumer and it is paid by the consumer theek hai na 
However, इसकी वीडियो बहुत डिटेल मौजूद है ये पूरी वीडियो की ये पूरा वीडियो मैकेनिज्म एक्सप्लेनिंग इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस यूट्यूब पे मौजूद है तीन वीडियो वो वहां से देख लें वो आपको समझ आ जाएगा और हम ऑलरेडी इसको कवर भी कर चुके हैं मार्केट फेलियर के अंदर सो अगेन यू गाइज जिस नीड टू स्पेंड एन आर एंड वॉच ऑल दो वीडियो ये वाली बात है ये सारी चीजें मैं समझा चुका हूँ उसके अंदर डिसएडवांटेजेस क्या है इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस की पहली चीज तो ये है कि इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस जो होते हैं दे आर रिग्रेसिव इन नेचर वाई आर दे रिग्रेसिव अब और दे सुनना सपोज करो आप लेट सपोज यू गो टू मैकडोनल्ड एंड यू ईट हैप्पी मील और उस उधर आप लिखा जब बिल आता है तो लिखा हुआ है सेल्स टैक्स टेन परसेंट नाउ देर आर टू पीपल हु आर ईटिंग दैट हैप्पी मील वन इज अ वेरी रिच पर्सन दी अदर इज अज अ मिडिल क्लास और काइंड ऑफ पुअर पर्सन ठीक है ना they both are eating that happy meal and they both end up paying the same amount of tax because the the, the rich eats a happy meal he pays 500 the poor also pays 500 now for the rich the 500 means nothing and and in within 500 is also the 10% sales tax that is included within 500 so maybe he is paying a so so whatever amount he is paying he is paying a sales tax as well baat ye hai कि वो जो पुअर पर्सन है उसके लिए ये जो सेल्स टैक्स का बर्डन है वो बहुत ज्यादा है एज कम्पेयर टू द रिच पर्सन द रिच पर्सन माई नॉट इवन केयर कि मुझे कितना सेल्स टैक्स देना पड़ रहा है सही है ना बट द पुअर पर्सन इज द पुअर पर्सन इज नॉट हैप्पी विद दिस द पुअर पर्सन इज नॉट बेटर ऑफ हिज वेलफेयर इज सफर राइट इट्स अनडिजायरेबल फॉर हिम इट्स अनफेयर फॉर हिम इट्स अनफेयर फॉर हिम दैट ही हैजू पे द सेम बर्डन ऑफ टैक्स एज द रिच पर्सन so that is what leads to unequal distribution of income right it's an un- that is why we say that that is why we say that indirect taxes are regressive they are regressive because the tax burden on the rich is less as compared to the poor and that is why we say they are unfair there is lack of equity there is lack of fairness and that is why they are considered undesirable so ye zarur likhna especially they will and they will be undesirable especially ye you can use this point in your discuss question If they will be undesirable, especially if they are if they are imposed on basic necessities or essential goods. फिर तो वो बहुत उनका negative effect आएगा because obviously poor people will consume those basic goods and they will have they will end up paying a high amount of tax on it. And the rich people will also be paying the rich people will also be paying a high amount of tax on basic goods, but they won't even care. They won't even care whatever they are doing, whatever tax they are paying. तो तो हम डिसएडवांटेजेस पढ़ रहे थे कि मसला ये है कि द रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस कैन नॉट बी प्रिडिक्टेड बिकॉज देखो जब तक मैं प्रोडक्ट खरीदूंगा नहीं जाके तो गवर्नमेंट को रेवेन्यू भी नहीं मिलेगा ना सो इफ इफ सेल्स टैक्स इज सेल्स टैक्स इज एन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स सो सेल्स टैक्स पीपल विल ओनली द गवर्नमेंट विल ओनली गेट द रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम सेल्स टैक्स ओनली वेन पीपल बाय द प्रोडक्ट so the government cannot estimate because government cannot predict with surety ki how many people will buy the product right and especially during the recession when consumer spending is very low so in that case the revenue from sales tax and indirect taxes fall so it's difficult to predict the revenue theek hai na another thing is that indirect taxes they and these disadvantages are very important indirect taxes they increase the cost of production and hence reduce output and profits so basically because indirect taxes they increase it because it's a cost on firms so what if these indirect taxes were imposed on exporting firms so that would make the exports uncompetitive and it will have a negative effect on the balance of trade because exports will fall the amount of foreign currency that the gov- that your current that your country has will fall and hence that would make your balance of trade negative it will have a negative effect, effect on balance of trade and it will reduce gdp have a have a bad impact on growth have a bad impact on expansion stuff like that so that is going to basically reduce your gdp and it will reduce your profits and you know kind of uh, also increase unemployment in the in in the economy so indirect taxes can be bad so the government must also kind of make sure that on what product it is imposing an indirect tax if it is imposing an indirect tax on exports so that can be harmful because it can make your exports uncompetitive and reduce your exports theek hai na हाँ जी डू आई अंडरस्टैंड सो वेन यू आर इवेल्यूएटिंग इन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेज इन योर एग्जाम सो ऑल्सो राइट द पॉइंट दैट द गवर्नमेंट शुड नॉट सो आई थिंक सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द सो देखो इन सम कंट्रीज अलॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज एक्सपोर्ट रेवेन्यूज आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ डी मेरिट गुड्स बिकॉज आपको मालूम है क्यूबन सिगार्स सिगार क्यूबन सिगार्स क्यूबन सिगार्स आर वेरी पॉपुलर क्यूबा क्यूबा प्रोड्यूसर सिगार्स एंड इट एक्सपोर्ट सिगार्स थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड 
पाकिस्तान में भी बहुत आते हैं क्यूबन सिगार एंड दीज आर लग्जरी सिगार राइट बड़े लोग भी थे इसको फैशन सेंस भी है इसका तो तो कहने का मकसद ये है कि अब अगर क्यूबा अपने सिगार्स पे इंडा टैक्सेस लगाता है सो डैट इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस हिज क्यूबाज एक्सपोर्ट्स बाय बिकॉज इट विल मेक दी सिगार्स एक्सपेंसिव इन क्यूबा एंड एज अ रिजल्ट मेक इट अनकम्पेरेटिव एंड अ लॉट ऑफ सो इट माइट रिड्यूस द मार्केट शेयर फॉर क्यूबा सो ग्लोबली एक्सपोर्ट्स फिर जो है वो क्यूबा की जो है वो डिक्लाइन करेगी सो दैट इज नॉट अ हेल्थी साइन और अगर किसी भी सो क्यूबन इकोनॉमी शुड क्यूबन गवर्नमेंट शुड नॉट इम्पोज इंडा टैक्सेज ऑन क्यूबन सिगार्स सो वाई बिकॉज again it will not only reduce in exports it will, it will also cause unemployment in in the in it will also cause unemployment it will reduce gdp as well because bhale cigars bana rahe hain aap lekin gdp mein contribution to hai na tax revenues to government ko de raha hoga cuban firms cigar firms so fir kya kare what should the government do so i think you should then suggest measures to the examiner by saying ke apart from just imposing indirect taxes the government can take long term measures for example um try to reduce demand for cigars by creating more awareness right or you know um stuff like that maybe more adver- run more public advertisements and public service messages and what if the cuba is a developing economy what if it is a poor country in that case if it's a poor country then then imposing taxes on exports is not a good idea because already it's a poor country it will it will it will uh, plunge the country it will throw the country further into poverty if it kya uh, kehte hain if it if it imposes indirect taxes on its exports you know this is how you guys need to evaluate your discuss questions lastly indirect tax again this is the this is again a martin scheme point that indirect taxes are inflationary and it can create cost push inflation in the economy especially if indirect taxes are imposed on key raw materials key raw materials example oil so so for example if the government imposes indirect taxes on key raw materials or essential supply kam ho jayega sorry aggregate supply kam ho jayega economy mein exactly exactly very good ki aggregate supply in short run aggregate supply jo hai it will shift to the left and that is would result into cost push inflation excellent and so basically so what if on and 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 apart from this raw materials what if the government imposes indirect taxes on essential goods right and it is, it will cause prices of food to rise or maybe fuel fuel ke upar bhi the government tax lagati hai fuel is an essential good har kisi ke paas gaadi hai har koi gaadi istemal karta hai fuel mehanga hota hai to logon ke liye problem create ho jati hai because a lot of money is spent on fuel because of traveling and xyz theek hai ji so you can give these examples